everyone, I'm Dr. John DeYard. I want to talk to you today about the difference between the grass that grass-fed cows graze on here in Colorado versus the grass that grass-fed cows graze on in Europe in places like Norway and northern Italy and in Austria. <clears throat> As you can see here, the grass here before it gets cut looks quite green and quite thick and quite nice. But once they cut it, you can see this is extremely dry. Underneath this grass is just really very, very hard dirt. So what the cows are feeding on are only these, these the grass that is really kind of the surface grass. Underneath this grass in Europe, we're going to see many layers of different types of grasses that grow one inch, two inch, three inches, and four inches, not just the only one type of grass. And our theory is that, that the, one of the reasons why why grass-fed cows produce, you know, uh, a higher quality milk, dairy products, yogurt, and even beef is because they actually are feeding on a variety of different grasses versus just this one type of grass that they feed on here in Colorado. Both organic, both grass-fed, but there's a significant difference in the grasses that these cows graze on in Europe. And we're going to go to Europe and we're going to actually compare the grasses that they graze on and we're going to see the difference and show you some of the different clovers and different small grasses that provide an abundant and diverse array of nutrients that these grasses just simply can't provide because it's sort of a mono grass culture here for the cow where we're looking at a much greater diversity of the nutrition that the cows graze on in different parts of the world. Thanks for listening. I'm Dr. John. My name is Dr. John Diar, and here we are in Farstad, Norway, where the cows grass feed on an incredible rich pasture grass. You have many layers of cover grasses, clovers, dandelions, um, different types of tall and short grasses. This pasture is so rich and so diverse with pasture grass, therefore so diverse with different types of microbes. Remember, each different grass here attracts different types of microbes. When the cows feed on this and they make, and this is actually the area where they actually make Jarlsberg cheese in Norway, the diversity of the, of the grass and the microbiology is just incredible. So when you think about grass fed, you really want to think about what type of grass and the diversity of the grass that they're actually feeding on. Thanks for listening. I'm Dr. John Diar. Here we are in Austria mountains and uh, I met a man who doesn't speak English but he's chopping the certain weeds that he doesn't want in his pasture grass for his grass-fed cows. It's an area where they do all organic milk and all organic beef and he's preparing all his grass for the cows before they, he lets the cows on this pasture. Just incredible hand work. He goes through the pasture with his own sickle making sure the grass is just perfect. They've specialized here in saying they have 50 different types of grasses but for their cows on the pasture but obviously there's certain grasses he doesn't want the cows to eat. Amazing, absolutely amazing. This recording is brought to you by LifeSpa, where ancient Ayurvedic wisdom meets modern science. Get access to free health video newsletters by Dr. John at LifeSpa.com.